Hello everyone, Grant from Grant Fraser Town and Country. Welcome back to another video. Today we're here in Highworth to look at this 850 square foot, three bedroom detached bungalow. We've got a five bar gated entrance here, gravel driveway service in three bungalows. We've got driveway parking down the side with additional parking available. A garage which has got a utility space uh, put to the rear of it. Uh, out the front here, we've got another garden area in front of the property. Uh, which also leads to quite a wide expanse down the side of the property. So you could always extend the gravel and hard standing and have a mobile home or caravan uh, nicely tucked behind the property. It wouldn't really interrupt too much in terms of windows and other things. You've only just got bathrooms on that side. So that's quite a handy feature. As far as internally, we've got solid walls throughout, really nicely built as a lot of the properties were at this era in Highworth. Uh, entrance hallway through to uh, bedroom three, a nice single guest room or study at the front here next to bedroom one. That's got an ensuite shower. We've then got bedroom two, which is this window just here. Really good size room, that one. Opposite a bathroom, which is a white modern bathroom suite with a bath. As far as the rear, you've got the lounge diner with French doors out to the west facing garden. You can see at the moment we're about 20 past four and the sun's coming around really nicely onto the rear garden so a real sun trap there as far as the kitchen you've got a good kitchen breakfast space and again that's a window from the sink overlooking the rear garden which is nice uh, and a door out to the garden there as well rear garden is as you see out the back next to this garage and the width of the property um, and then connects to that side bit so you've got an l shape nice big plot um, plenty for messing around with not too much to manage it's pretty uh, low maintenance as it stands but you've got grass and areas patio to enjoy as far as our location we've got a bus stop just opposite which is really handy we've got routes through to Lechlade and the Cotswolds just down the road 10 minutes or so and then Swindon about 20-30 minutes depending on traffic the other way as far as Highworth uh, High Street it's about a five or ten minute walk up the hill it's not too much of a walk in terms of um, uh, the hill it's a slight slope but not too much um, and of course you've got the bus if you wanted to use it as well. The high street's got a myriad of different shops, butchers, delis, cafes, everything you might expect, some nice boutique, different outlets, um, as well as barbers and chemists. Uh, there's a co-op there as well. Uh, we've got doctors and dentists in Highworth. There's an Aldi down the road. Um, and then you've got everything else you could possibly need over in Swindon. Uh, Oxford's about a 30 to 40 minute drive, depending on traffic again. Uh, there's buses running from Swindon or Shrivenham, an hour or uh, so from there also. Um, and then we've got Swindon train station about 20 to 30 minutes from here, with links to London, Bath and Bristol. And then of course the M4 motorway about 10 to 15 minute drive, with links to London in about an hour and a half. Um, and then we've got the M5 with links up to Cirencester Market Town, um, at the centre of the Cotswolds, uh, up in um, up the A49, about a 15-minute drive from here. Let's go and take a look at this one.